It's Sunday case study time coming from the gorgeous Sea Island, Georgia. I have a 75 year old female who takes chronic steroids for COPD and she coughed and felt a sudden pain in her mid back. Now, this is her CAT scan. Lumbar CAT scan shows this and she is getting some numbness and tingling in her legs as well. All right, so what's the diagnosis? What's the treatment? And what's the underlying cause that led to this from such a simple cough? I'll post a full video explanation tomorrow. So the answers to the case study, May is osteoporosis awareness month. So I wanted to take one case and really talk about osteoporosis. So remember we said we had this 75 year old patient who coughed and had a sudden pain in her back and had this CT scan. We said she was on chronic steroids for her COPD. So that tells us a few things. She's 75, she's probably a smoker or ex-smoker and is on steroids. And those are three risk factors for osteoporosis. So on the CT, what we're looking at is the bone should really look like this, perfect squares. And this shows a fracture with some bony fragments that are pushing back in the spinal canal, which is this space right here. This space is where all the good stuff goes, all the nerves in the spine. So this narrowing right here of the spinal canal is causing a lot of pressure on the nerves in the spine, which is leading to the sensation that she's having in her legs, the numbness and tingling. Now, normal bone has this type of structure and osteoporotic bone or soft bone has this type of structure. So what happened in this patient is she had really soft bone due to the risk factors that we mentioned and she coughed and boom, her vertebrae, which is supposed to be a square, squished just from the impact of her coughing. Totally crazy, right? But it happens all the time. With a diagnosis of osteoporosis and a compression fracture, this patient is now 10 times more likely to develop a new compression fracture. You see how women age over the years and they start to become more bent over because of the spinal deformities associated with osteoporosis. Now, why do I say women? These are the risk factors and osteoporosis tends to affect women way more than men. But here are all the risk factors listed. You can pause the video to see them. Now, anyone with those risk factors should get checked every two years with a screening bone density test. And typically we recommend women age 65 and older that get a screening DEXA every two years. If you do have the diagnosis of osteoporosis, there are medications out on the market that can help strengthen your bones and help prevent unnecessary fractures, such as spine fractures. Now let's get to the good stuff. So we talked about the fracture, we talked about the risk factors. How do we treat something like this? So this patient has severe debilitating pain and some spinal stenosis or where that bone is pushing back. Now, many of you guys mentioned cement augmentation or kyphoplasty, which is typically the gold standard for compression fractures. Basically, we place a needle into the bone and inject some bone cement, which will help stabilize that fracture. It doesn't really elevate the bone that much, but it will stabilize the fracture. So the problem in this particular case is the retropulsion of bone. Some of you guys mentioned spinal fusion. That's not an unreasonable option, but the problem in this case, again, is the bone quality. So if you place screws into crappy bone, the likelihood of it really holding is low. This is how I chose to treat this fracture. Basically, I made a small stab incision, placed a guide pin into the fracture, and followed that by a bag of bone that will elevate and restore the height of that bone and decompress the spinal canal all through a tiny little incision. The biggest issues in these cases is diagnosing the osteoporosis and getting them treated. So hope you guys learned something on this case study.